Hello everyone. Welcome back again, back with you in another segment right here on Jim Boy's Kitchen. Something came to my mind. Don't know what uh, I want to make on this segment. Maybe I'm going to do some Multani. I want to kick it up a notch for you. Maybe some Multani. Or maybe I want to make some stewed. Nah. How about some curry chicken? Or chicken curry? Yeah. Maybe curry chicken because you curry the chicken. Or chicken curry because the chicken going to be in the curry. <laughs> Regardless, what is it? Uh, I want to kick it up a notch for you. So I'm going to make some chicken curry or curry chicken, whatever please you in the words, right? In the pronunciation. But before that, uh, something came to my mind. And I have noticed and observed that uh, this is happening in today's world. Um, so I want to show you what's happening, especially in upstate New York, a part of upstate New York, and uh, Schenectady, New York is one of them. <laughs> you know something called marijuana, weed, reefer, ganja. Or cannabis. I never knew what cannabis was. I thought it was canister. You know, you make mistake canister. Cannabis is the appropriate word, I guess, for weed or marijuana. Reefa, ganja, all is the same thing. And, um, you know, I remember uh, looking at a program back in the years with a guy named Montel Williams, where he went to the governor of New York, and uh, he was crying to the governor. He begged the governor that if they could legalize marijuana, because it's good for pain. At that time, many agreed, many disagreed, you know, because it was an illegal thing. <laughs> All right, but talking about that, I recall I myself, um, I happened to take a urine on the street in Brooklyn, New York, years back. Unfortunately for me, I got a ticket for that. So I remember going to court and, uh, you know, it it was dismissed, of course, because, hey, the judge knew I wanted to urine. I couldn't hold it back, right? <laughs> I'm for real, folks. It's common. But at the same time, in that courtroom, I remember this guy got locked up for a little bit of weed the night before and came to court to pay a fine, which is maybe a bail, a hundred and something dollars. And if I tell you, he had a little pack, a little little bit of marijuana or reed, or what you call cannabis now, that's legal, he had to pay a fine. So this is how I'm thinking here how the world has changed where it becomes a money maker now. I don't know if it's for the government or whoever is in charge of this. And I notice cigarette is becoming expensive. So in a sense, maybe I'm thinking maybe they want uh, people to smoke the cigarette, to quit the cigarette and smoke weed. Why is the cigarette getting so expensive? Even a cheap pack of cigarette now that was like five dollars is above ten bucks. <laughs> so I'm wondering. Uh, 
is that's the reason why cigarette is booming up and uh, all these cannabis factories are opening and when I say can cannabis factories are opening folks I'm not only saying because it looks like a corner store no that's part of it looks like a corner store but at the same time the plants are growing in that uh, area also all right so it's a factory where cannabis company is established in upstate New York and connected in New York is one of them with that being said, welcome back to Jim Boy's Kitchen. Sammy here with you. And I would like to take a visit to these, uh, just a few of these factories. So you have an insight of what they look like. Uh, just the outskirts of it. And then I'm going to make that curry chicken. But before... I must say, as promised, uh, to say hi to a wonderful gentleman, a dedicated gentleman that uh, I reach personally in this man, you know, told me that he looked at all my segments for many years in Jim Boy's Kitchen. Um, he's been looking at my programs 10 years ago. <laughs> Yes, uh, and he knew that uh, I did create a, a YouTube channel about 10 years ago when YouTube just began. Many didn't realize that. But now Jim Boy's Kitchen is, I redo a channel. Uh, and the man, the gentleman there is Naresh. Mr. Naresh, uh, gotta say hello to you and your family. And of course, um, to Amanda and family, gotta say hello to you guys. Also to Crystal and family, hello to you. And the man David and family, David ran up to me. Jim Boy's Kitchen, same as Naresh. Jim Boy's Kitchen. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's a thing about it. If you say Sammy, then you know me personally a little bit. But if you say Jim Boy's Kitchen, that's what you know me as. So I know you've been looking at Jim Boy's Kitchen, and I appreciate that. So I welcome you back. And remember, if you like the segment, what to do, you're going to subscribe. Like and share as much as you can so artists can see what's going on in Jim Boy's kitchen right here. All right, folks, uh, Jim Boy's kitchen and things, because uh, the name might change gradually. <laughs> All right, and things means different things happening right in Jim Boy's kitchen channel. Sammy here with you. Welcome everybody once again. So let's go. Are you with me? I'm ready. But I'm. <laughs> yeah. Morning, how are you? You put shorts. Shoe shorts. Yeah. Now, this is the price of the cigarette. I was like, surely I'll get a call back in 10 minutes. Right. Three hours later. How much is a cigarette? Fifteen ninety eight. Oh, okay. Now, amazing, right? Just want to show you a pack of cigarette, Newport, and this is one of the most popular uh, tobacco product uh, in regard of uh, cigarette. This was only ten bucks, eleven bucks. Now it's running up to fifth, over fifteen dollars. Um, some stores got it for seventeen, sixteen. Um, I remember when it was twelve dollars, and uh, New York had it for 
New York City had it for $15. You would always think that uh, it's too expensive in New York City. So imagine this now in upstate New York is uh, $15 and $16. New York City is more. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I want to show you the example. Now let's go check out the cannabis company. Cannabis companies, marijuana, weed, reefer, ganja. These are the names for this one thing called marijuana. As everybody knew, simple word marijuana, right? Or weed. Uh huh. Um, is it because uh, they want people to quit smoking cigarette and smoke the marijuana to get high? I, I'm not into that. Uh, I don't agree with that much because this thing uh, back in the years, uh, the ancient people or the old time people used to drink uh, weed or marijuana in tea or in all of that. And, you know, to feel healthy. For example, Montel Williams, when he went to the governor, I remember there was a program, the Montel Williams show, and this man went to the governor and he cried, uh, actually cried to the governor, the New York governor, and said, I would like uh, you to legalize marijuana because I need it for pain. At that time, it was illegal. They never did. All right. So now it's legal all over the place. It started off with, as prescription drugs. But I knew that one day in my mind, just my opinion on all these things, It's going to be what it is today. In today's world, it's legalized. It's like a little bit of corner store now. It becomes a corner store, and they're growing the weed in the premise. And uh, you are allowed, uh, the way I understand, you're allowed to carry a couple pounds, maybe, in your position before... It becomes illegal. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Welcome back, Jim Boy's Kitchen, with you here. This uh, government sucks, man. Everybody else can come here and get whatever they want, man. I went to college, got a degree in everything. I made one mistake in my life, and here I am now. This is where I'm at. Just got robbed last night, stole my sleeping bag, everything. I got nothing now. I'm out here since 6 o'clock this morning. I hear flag. I made $2. And you're homeless. Uh... I'm homeless. Got nothing. My ID was in my bags. I got no ID now. Got nothing. And uh, you think uh, someone is to blame for this, right? Somebody is, yeah. Somebody's got to be to blame for this, man. How can I... How many times do I have to keep asking for help and not get the help? And then I, they want me to go through all these loopholes, and I go through these loopholes, and they still don't want to help me. Exactly. And I see all these weed uh, cannabis company opening in Schenectady now. Yeah. Right? Do you think it's uh, for the better or the worse? I think cannabis is, can, can be for the better. You don't see people going around robbing people for cannabis. You don't see them shooting people and stabbing people for weed. They the, smoke, they eat, they watch TV, they go to sleep, man. Because now it's legal. It's legal. Yeah. Harris wants to take it away. So who you... Okay, Harris wants to take it away. Uh, who? So who you prefer to be the president? Trump. Trump, you, hands down, he brings money to the country. We don't want a politician running this country. We want a businessman running this country. Exactly. Bring money, put money in everybody's pockets. Nobody in the world can tell me in 2020, when he became president, he didn't have money in your pocket. Exactly, brother. I'll talk with you. Yes. The Electricity Cannabis Company Dispensary. And this is located by the 890 Highway and Broadway. Um, it's connected to New York. And I'm just bringing to you a few of them that will be opening. There it is. And they are kind of a, having the plants in here also. Yeah. That's another world right there. Look at that. It's another world reopening soon next door. Huh? <laughs> All right. The cannabis company, electricity. And electricity, Schenectady, New York is called... Uh, Electricity City. So hey, ain't nothing wrong with this, as the gentleman said. But uh, many will tend to use this as uh, they will abuse it and overdose themselves. Uh, I would think 
But he got a point, the gentleman got a point that uh, it avoids people from killing each other and um, robbing people for something that's illegal, right? That happens most time. But now that it's legal, it's legal everyone will have the access to the weed or the marijuana, so no one will rob no one for uh, such things. Just that they will abuse it and uh, overdose themselves, I would think. And this is location number two. The People's Joint Cannabis Dispensary. And of course they have the cannabis. Uh, let's see if we can reach to uh, see some plants there. Yeah. This is uh, some of the plants. Uh, you can see it in there. <laughs> Yeah, the people's joint. So this one is located in Clinton Street and Street Street. All right, folks, uh, the people's uh, joints. Now, you figure this out and tell me if you think this is a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, as uh, cannabis uh, stores are opening, uh, cannabis is marijuana, weed, and all of that. Um, Rifa, ganja. These are the stores for them, all right? Smoking it uh, responsibly will be one thing. Using it responsibly will be another. But uh, overdosing yourself might be another, right? Location number three. The cannabis company coming soon. Opening like a corner store. It's prevailing like a corner store in uh, Schenectady, New York. Look at that. Coming soon. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Folks, uh, some may use it wisely and some may overdose themselves. This is what. Uh, cannabis company will look like guesstimate <laughs> right there so this is the mainstream now in tobacco it's gonna be selling like a, a tobacco no prescription anymore I guess yeah no prescription it's gonna be just as uh, selling uh, tobacco in a store. People will use it and buy it by the pounds, huh? <laughs> yeah. Location number three, this is in Schenectady by the downtown area in uh, Church Street and State Street in Schenectady, New York. And you're from the furniture store, right? What's the name of your furniture? Act 2 Mattress Store. Act 2 Mattress Store. Very great gentleman, and he sells the best furniture in Schenectady. Thank you very much. You got have it, great, brother. Have a great blessed day. All right. Location number four. In the corner of Hamilton Street and Broadway in downtown Schenectady, New York. Oh, man, this one is called Ripe Cannabis, which means it comes close to reality, Right. Yeah, it's close to reality, and these are the cannabis, or the weed, or the marijuana, which means, uh, it looks like, uh, um, this one is a 245 uh, Broadway, in Schenectady, New York. <laughs> um, now, as close as it could get, this is one of the plants, I guess, right there. They're growing right in the place, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what, uh, I've never seen a marijuana tree before, but I don't know if you think this marijuana tree right there through the window, then that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, and there it is. There goes another one. I guess that's the cannabis right there. The weed, weed plant or the, or, so this is what people smoke. <laughs> well, you tell me if you think this is a good idea or it's a bad idea. Um, yeah. The way I see it, uh, New York is becoming uh, 
one of the marijuana state. Is it because of money making? That's why they approve all these things now, like a regular corner store. Yeah, it's right. So that's as good as it gets, huh? To being fresh, growing on a tree. Yeah. Location number four, right? Cannabis. Yeah, once again, next to Clinton and uh, Broadway. Actually, Hamilton Street and Broadway. Right there. Comes to reality. Got to say hello to that man. Gentleman, once again, great uh, furniture guy. His supporter of furniture. He delivers for you. Right in Schenectady, in New York. And he's located on Steuben Street and State Street. Um, it's connected in New York, upstate. So upstate New York is uh, becoming a marijuana state. I guess that's an appropriate word to use. <laughs> Man, yeah. Yeah, it's what do you think about New York? Yeah. It's becoming a marijuana state? Yeah, I'm up to Sam Rea. Say hi to all the guys yeah. here. My band, the Pink Floyd, I'm Bell Gilmore. Okay, hey! I gotta go. All right, my brother here in town, man. Uh, hey, welcome to Jim Bai Kitchen. Who do you want to be the president? Uh, Kamala. Kamala Harris, why? Because I think she'll uh, make a good change in America. She will make a change in America. But don't you think she is in control right now that she could continue to change, start a change already? I believe she already uh, made progress in change, dealing with uh, women's uh, abortion rights and stuff like that. I also think that uh, her presenting uh, more housing and, and loans to a small uh, uh, corporations that's on the uprise for all people, not just uh, people, black people or white people, but for all people. Uh, I think that her heart is at the best interest of changing America and giving it more liberty to the middle class who Ben Franklin started, what he started. Uh, and uh, that's good, somebody can piggyback from what he started when it comes to the middle class people in the uh, minority. There shouldn't be that in America. It should be equality. Only thing above the law is equality, and that's what we should represent the law as. And, for example, the border. She said she's going to make a change with the border to close the border. I mean, she's in power right now. She could do something with the border. What do you think? Uh, I believe she should do something about the border because you have to uh, look at the longevity of uh, the border crisis. And it's, it's, it's really uh, not good. Uh, she's been in, in the House under the president as a vice president, and they made a mess of that. That needs to be fixed. All right. That should be one of her number one priorities to fix. Because whether you know it or not, people are coming over here. She wants them to stay over here. And affordable housing and more housing for people, they seem to be getting what the citizens of America have, have already should be getting. Exactly. You got uh, veterans that uh, that fought for the freedom of the people here that's, that's right. living on the street right and now. Our blood and sweat is in America, so I don't think it's good to let other people in this country and take what's already should be ours exactly. as citizens. You make them citizens, and, and they get the loans, and they get the grants, and, you know, they did what the Chinese did, come over here and get everything, and then you forget about the people who blood and sweat is in the soil. So now we are on a balanced scale. If Trump should win, do you think Trump will, will close the border in the I believe Trump. Trump is Trump, you know. I don't look at the racist part of anything. I look at the biased part of it. You know, people will accept those who they want in their circle. And if he chooses to want to accept uh, the elite in his circle, so be it. But if he's empowered to change the border and uh, fix certain problems in America uh, as far as uh, uh, the poverty, because he does... Uh, allow other people in, to get in jobs that's not just the elite. So I believe Trump would play a good part in changing things in America. But uh, I believe Kamala, she's more in tune with society 
not business. Exactly. So we are in a balance uh, thing right now, right? Even uh, if Camilla wins, it's a different category. If Trump wins, it's a different category. Yes, I, I believe they both have the uh, limitation of what they will do or will not do pertaining to the oaths that they take under presidency. But when you play chess, you look at the end game, not the, so much the beginning. And Trump is a more of an end game playing in chess. Right. And he's not only political, he's business. Exactly. I believe he's more business minded when it comes to uh, putting things in its right perspective. But I believe Kamala is more for the people in liberating America. Oh, okay. And you know, um, I visited downtown Schenectady just now, and um, I noticed, uh, I wanted to say that Schenectady is going to be a marijuana state soon. I see number four different cannabis company opening soon. What do you think? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I, I, I believe it was never good from the beginning because you arrested people of color that was using and selling marijuana, and now you legalize it. Exactly. So you, you know, the pot can't call the kettle black. So, like, you know, I, I think for America, you know, when they find out that they can make money off of something, they utilize it for the benefit. But then when they figured that other people made money off of it, they locked them up. Exactly. I think that's a double-edged sword. Like at the beginning of my segment, I did mention cigarette prices going up way sky high, which means they're kind of a forcing people to go into smoking weed instead of the cigarette. Well, in, in that case, uh, you're not supposed to put anything in your body that will tamper with it, you know, your five senses or, or mess with your health. So that's a question of who wants to do that and who don't want to do it. Exactly. So it's not really the people, the politicians, that can actually change that. I believe the people have to change that for themselves that want good health. Great man. Thank you, brother. What's your name again? I'm Jamal Mitchell. Jamal Mitchell. You got it, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. You too. All right. After passing through all those wonderful uh, weed or cannabis company. You know, after smoking all those uh, marijuana, I got to understand uh, some tends to get hungry. And of course, uh, hey, with Trump and uh, Harris uh, in the running right now to see who's going to be the best president or who will be the president. Um, hey, I guess uh, folks are going to get hungry. Because you're going to get hungry, I want to show you now, after doing all those things and uh, smoking up <laughs> that weed, you're going to get hungry. So I'll show you how to make a delicious uh, curry chicken or chicken curry, all right? So let's get to it. Once again, before I begin, i uh, got to say hello to Naresh once again. Naresh, uh, was a great pleasure once again reaching up with you. Um... At a price rate location, and of course, uh, Mr. David and family. Uh, hello to you also, Amanda and family, uh, Crystal and family. Hello to you folks, and every hello to each and every one of you. Simple, not much to it. Gonna get drop of celery, a sprint of uh, prong of celery here with uh, onion, and I show you how to kick it up a notch. Remember, you don't have to be a superstar or a scientist to make a wonderful curry chicken or chicken curry or any kind of a curry on the sort. Follow my recipe here. I got the onion and celery all cut up. Show you the next step. What I show you when you buy a whole chicken, you know, whole chicken is about $9. Uh, you only get two feet, two wing, two thigh, <laughs> or two breasts also, one neck. Well, to gain a quantity uh, of the pieces, uh, I buy them by package, and I got a lot of uh, feet, uh, love feet, uh, good uh, for the knuckles and the joints, knuckles and joints, and so. 
and of course got me some wings, a pack of wings with a couple of ties, so make a nice dish. Uh, cut these up and show you the next step. I want to show you how simply you could cut it up. Just want to cut, uh, make bite size, or bite sizes. That's good for the curry. Cut this out of piece here. That's good for the curry. Leave this hole. Now to the wings. Make it simple and easy. One part here. Another part here. Gonna eat some nice big piece wings like that, right? And now for the for the fingers, chicken fingers or or the chicken feet, you just cut out the nails. Two nails you call them. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> All right, this is how you do it. And then I'm gonna clean it up nicely and uh, show you the next step. So I'm gonna continue cutting all these. So Harrison Trump looks like they're balancing. Uh, they're running almost equally um, according to these wonderful people. Yeah, both of them has a part to play. I agree with the last gentleman. Harris have the power right now. Could have closed the border. But uh, she's saying when she become the president, she will. She could do it right now. Yes. Wonder what's the hesitation. There it is, folks. All cut up. Time to wash and show you the next step. Cooking up this for Trump and Harris. Yeah. All fully washed up with salt, uh, vinegar and uh, lemon now it's time for the steaming process put a little bit of salt with some uh, black pepper ground black pepper it's just to see steam it up a little bit with flavor love to steam my meat before I do a full cook. Oh man. That's done. Don't have to be pretty. All right. Got a hot pan. That's the sound I want to hear. It's just a steaming process. I'm going to finish put all this inside. It's uh, seasoned up already. So this is going to give it flavor. So Trump and Harris would enjoy this, right? <laughs> yeah. What do you, do you think is uh, going to do a better presidency? When they're in presidency, who do you think going to be running the country great? Maybe after they eat this chicken, right? This curry chicken. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cover it down. For 10 minutes. All right, the chicken is fully steamed up nicely. Time to transfer it from the uh, pot and I'll get rid of the water. So I'll put everything in here. Nice. Now this is what they call chicken broth. You see this water here? That's why I don't buy these uh, broth. It's all from the rank of the, you know, or the excess water from that uh, meat. That's what I don't like. So, I'll put everything in here and show you the next step. That's the water that came out of the uh, chicken. So, I'll discard of this water here. And this is the chicken looking good all here. Look at that, all steamed up nicely. Ready to go in the pro next process. This is the mixture here. Simple. One tablespoon of uh, masala. Garam masala. You can find this at any uh, West Indian store or Caribbean grocery store. And I'm uh, going to get some uh, curry powder. In this case, I'm using uh, Lala's curry powder. but It comes in different flavors. Uh, Madras curry powder. You can also get this at any Caribbean store, West Indian store. So I'm going to put... Uh, but with that masala there, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of curry powder. Because, hey, I'm making curry, right? <laughs> two 
two tablespoons, one, two of curry powder. Not bad. Uh, all that is the little catch there. Now, when that falls, you pick it up. Now, I got me some curry powder here. I want to show you what I'm going to do with this. With this, I'm going to add some water so that the curry powder doesn't um, uh, absorb the oil. All right, because it's going to already absorb the water. This is what I'm talking about. So it's not going to absorb the oil. It's going to go instantly and start frying, still frying equally, all right? So that's done. Right there. Got me the pot here or the curry here. All came to a nice heated temperature. Gonna pour in about four tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil. Love to use vegetable oil. Oh yeah. 100% vegetable oil. So not, not much fat into it and it's a very healthy oil. So I'm gonna bring this up to a temperature and show you the next step. 